welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Black Friday Seals on PSN here on Pastiche of Skin. Today, we've been looking at the seal items on the PlayStation Network, and we had a mild technical issue, technical hitch, technical problem with the PlayStation Network where they were doing some mild maintenance. And whenever I took a look inside the store, there was a small, small change, if you can check it. I mean, compared to what I had in my original video, but I, I'm trying to see where the difference was from the last time. All I think may have been is just it did a little bit of a shuffle because everything seems to have actually been shifted over one place from where it was previously and I don't know where the new item was added along the way to the list of games that were there because I don't see anything that I didn't mention in a previous video. Is that, is that what it seems like? It seems like something's gone missing or something's gone added in. Because I remember there being that and that and that being there. But I remember this being the first one on the list. So, yeah, that was a little bit weird. But, of course, we're here looking at games that are available on the PlayStation Black, Black Friday sale. There is, of course, going to be a quick video for the PS3 and PS Vita that I'll probably just kind of hammer together right after this. But, uh, as it is now, we need to finish off where we were last left off. We were working our way through MX ATV and the Dragon Ball Xenoverse Season Pass bundle. These were the last games that were actually available on our little list of games before the whole thing crashed out and disappeared on us. So let's continue on where we left off. So MX ATV, like I was saying, Supercross Encore, $23.99. It's a small discount, 20%. Not a big discount. Are you into motocross and ATVs? Then this may be the game for you. Again, more driving games. Driving games tend to actually drop and rise in price or just disappear off the by the way fold over time. If you are a driving fan, if this hits your tickled little niche for turning vehicles around corners, then this may be the game for you at $23.99. Of course, it's available in this kind. For me, I have no idea whether or not this is actually a good representation of the game or a good representation of the price and value of the included content. But if you're going to be driving through a number of circuits, I imagine it may be the case. Of course, we have the Dragon Ball Xenoverse Season Pass Bundle. I own that because I own Xenoverse. So, yeah. Can't really tell you what the price is going to be like on this. I can just say to you that the Season Price Bundle was kind of worth it while also not worth it but it ended up giving me a bunch of items that made my character stronger whenever i started off xenoverse 1 xenoverse 2 the only differences between them is that xenoverse 2 has a couple of extra missions from the movies and extra versions of characters and transformation differences but outside of that you might be better off with the cheaper access of just buying xenoverse 1. We'll cross here to another Hitman episode of Cheap. Uh, we'll skip over that. We'll get to that in just a little while. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven Bundle. So, Eyes of Heaven, I played the demo of this. It isn't quite like I thought Jojo's Bizarre Adventure would be. There is, like, rooftop attack missions and kind of, like, arena combat levels, which I expected this to be just like the original Jojo's Bizarre Adventure being a standardized kind of, like, maybe... 2.5D Street Fighter 5 looking game now, but uh, essentially a 2D fighter with stands and all the other active kind of special skills involved in it. But it has an adventure story that's involved in it that actually kind of has a, almost an arena based combat thing with um, uh, places of uh, uh, rooftops with actual like obstructions and all that kind of thing that will evade your attacks and other things. I enjoyed the demo, but um, I'm not massively into Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I've only read as, read as far as Joe Taro's uh, particular adventure, like the. Um, the I think it's what Stardust Adventures or Stardust something or other. Sorry, it's the Stardust Speedway. I can't even remember if that's what that's actually the name of that particular series because Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is wonderfully bizarre. If you're a fan of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, you're probably following this series quite intently. And at twenty nine dollars ninety nine, it's not bad. Um, at fifty nine, this game's not that old. It's only about a couple of months old, so a massive uh, drop of fifty percent for what could be very well a heavily, heavily involved kind of experience of playing through the Jojo's Bizarre Adventures universe. I wouldn't say it's a bad idea to pick it up. I actually like this is one of those ones where it's actually slightly more expensive than the rest of the ones I've been recommending, but you could get a lot of kick out of. It. And at twenty three ninety nine, if you are into playing the history of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, you'll get a good value for experience. I imagine it's kind of like a, a sideline story where characters are alive that shouldn't be alive and should be alive. You'd probably get a good kick out of this Elseworlds. Max Payne at $8.89. Finally, a PS2 game that's below the $10 mark. And Max Payne is a good game. It's a very good game. And it's $7.49. It's well within my little recommended range of being a cheap game. 
it is very much one of the older games, so it'll look a bit pants in a lot of ways. But if you've played any of the Max Payne series, especially the Max Payne 3, which I thought was a fantastic game whenever I played through it, um, really good kind of combat, action, and entertainment, kind of like a good storyline to work your way through. Um, although Climax was quite a, a little bit less interesting, but it, it really is just like, he just loses his shit and starts killing everything. This is the original cop falls down, doesn't get back up again, but starts blowing up everything until everything's okay again, Adventures. Um, I recommend it in the New York Minute. It is a good game. I recommend checking it out, especially for the crime baby black hallway nightmare adventures. At those, This game is dark. Dark, 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 dark. And my first time playing through the experience of it was actually on a crack copy that had no cutscenes, so I had no context for half the things that were going on. But um, yeah, I recommend Max Payne. At $8.99, eh, at $7.49, this is a good classic game that'll look like pants on your PS4, but you'll enjoy shitting your pants while going through some of the missions. Journey Collector's Edition. I don't know what makes this a collector's edition. I took a look inside this page and it doesn't tell me anything that comes along with the package, but Journey is a great game. And I wish you all got it whenever it was on PS Plus. If you haven't gotten PS Plus, $14, $15 is a bit much of an ask, but uh, well, I, I, it's probably even 49 not really, but Journey is a game that you have to experience at least once for yourself. If you know somebody that has it or you can get a, you did have it on PS Plus and you haven't played it yet, I recommend playing through Journey once. Just, just play through it once to see if you start to feel or care for anything. If you don't, you might want to go and get yourself clinically diagnosed as a sociopath. It's it's one of those games. It makes you feel. Of course, Hitman Episode 3, cheap. But this is the one I was interested in. The upgrade pack. So, to buy Hitman, the full six-episode season, is 35 bucks. To buy the intro pack is 8 bucks. I don't know how much this upgrade pack is, but if it's any more than 24 bucks, you're getting ripped off. But it makes me encourage that if this is cheap enough, if you, I recommend you go and buy the intro pack... Give it a try, see what you think of it, and if you like it, then go grab the upgrade pack and you'll be laughing your balls off. You'll be enjoying the hell out of it. One Piece Pirate Warriors 3. It's Samurai Warriors with One Piece characters. If you're a One Piece fan and you have been following this mega series for as long as you have, you probably like the idea of going and trouncing the crap out of everything around you, fighting hundreds of enemies at a time with them. I'm not a One Piece fan. I've never gone into the series. Uh, I don't mind them, but I just, I just, it's one of those TV series. Like, I stopped watching mega series after Dragon Ball Z whenever I was a kid or the original Naruto series. So, One Piece passed me by. Uh, interesting characters, interesting world, uh, a lot of surreality in it, and the character designs are very interesting. I imagine this being a really good, fun game. At $17.99, I recommend any Dynasty Warriors game. Just, by, just because I, I know you know what they're going to be, you know they're essentially a kind of like strategically based top down slash hack and slash them up I enjoy the Dynasty Wars Gundam series to no end somebody will get a massive kick out of this The Crew Wild Run The Crew we've already seen The Crew Complete Edition we've seen The Crew Blah 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 Edition we've seen The Crew on Ultimate Edition you know if you want to play The Crew you know if you want to drive all your friends across a tiny version of America you'll enjoy it perfectly fine Tom Clancy's The Division talked about it previously this is the Gold Edition has more shit more money not worth it Blaz Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend now, this is an odd one for me, because I'd personally recommend going and making yourself a Hong Kong PSN account, buying PS Plus for a year, or just even for this month, on that Hong Kong account, and you'll get a copy of Blaz Blue Chrono Phantasma Extend as part of your free games for this month. Yes, this game is for free on the Hong Kong PSN store at the moment, or PS Plus kind of deal. So, you can get it for free there. And then play it on whatever account you have it registered as your main on. Plus then you'll get whatever PS Plus games come out for it in the future. If you bought the year pass. But at $17.49, it's a Blast Blue game. Great storyline, as always. Well, no, not great storyline, but extended, extensive storyline involved in, in the end up that you can play through and have a good time playing. There is, of course, a new Blast Blue one out called Central Fiction. If you like that, this, you can, you're kind of like set up for playing the next one. 2D fighter with depth of gameplay that you will never, ever, 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 ever want to take on online and get your ass trounced by those people who, the 10 to 15 people who are playing it 24 hours a day. But yes, at $17.49, this is normal with games that are Japanese price, Japanese centric games that are got a massive discount that are really enjoyable. At $12.49, couldn't beat it. But if you want it for free, take my tip. Go get yourself a Hong Kong account, get it for free on the PS Plus, and then make use of the PS Plus that you have on your Hong Kong account, because there's going to be so many other deals that I'm going to point out over the years, or over the next couple of months, that are going to be out in that system. So worthwhile checking out. 
Just Dance 2016. Also, by the way, the Hong Kong edition is in English. Just Dance 2016, if you just gotta dance, then you might as well dance. And at 25 bucks, I'm sure you'll enjoy the hell out of dancing. Uh, of course, uses the PlayStation camera and matches your movements. And I'm sure it probably uses the move controllers as well or so on. But yeah, Just Dance. Just dance. If you want to dance, you can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. But if your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, then they're no friends of mine. Of course, you can go and play Manhunt PS2 upgraded to PS4 for $8.99. Or, of course, down to $7.49 on the sale item of PS+. Plus. Manhunt. Violent game. The second one got banned. You can play Manhunt. Go play it. $7.45. Exactly what I said in that sweet spot for PS game, PS2 games. Don't spend any more than $7.50 on it. If you've got PS Plus, Manhunt is an enjoyable game. Won't, won't wet your pants, but you'll, um, you'll, you'll probably soil yourself a little bit with excitement in the fact that you can murder people in horrific ways if you're a crazy person. So uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, available for $10.49. Again, in the package, you can buy all three of them for $24. If you're going to buy them, you might as well buy all three of them. Don't bother actually buying this one individually. All right, sorry, I had to repeat that thing again. One Piece Burning Blood. One Piece, but a fighting game One Piece. Less related to the adventure kind of like Pirate Warriors one or the J-Star Victory one. This is a standard One Piece designed fighting game. One-on-one, -on -one to one-on-two kind of thing. If you're into One Piece, I'm sure you can enjoy it. I played the demo of this. Enjoyed Burning Blood to a degree, but I was going like, ah, I really, really don't care. <laughs> so, um, again... This one's factored into your fandom. If you enjoy the fandom, you're really into it, and you haven't played any of the series, Burning Blood's a decent place to be. You'll get to enjoy a lot of characters and get to see them at their powerful peaks and power, their, their weakest lows. Assassin's Creed Chronicles, for $14.99, the three games in the Assassin's Creed Chronicles trilogy series are fun. If you like Prince of Persia, if you like um, Shadow Ninja, if you like uh, Mark of the Ninja, if you like a bunch of those kind of like stealthy, strategic platformers where you have to either avoid contact with the enemy or very strategically pick out the enemies you're going to take down. These games are actually really fun. Um, I personally enjoy China, but there's also Russia and India as well. But uh, different protagonists, different worlds, but getting all three of them for essentially five bucks each, that's not too bad. That's like the, This is actually probably the best deal in the Assassin's Creed deals that are available, but um, it really depends on if you like that game type. I call Duty Advanced Warfare Gold down to thirty-four seventy-nine. Advanced Warfare. If you play Advanced Warfare, you're it's Advanced Warfare. It's Advanced Warfare. Do you know Advanced Warfare? Call Duty Advanced Warfare. Thirty-five bucks. Um, not for me. Definitely not. Moving on. Evolve Ultimate Edition twenty-four ninety-nine. No. If you're going to play this, play it for free on PC. Don't play pay for it on any console. Don't encourage them to not put it F two P on consoles. This game should already be F two P. It saved its game on the PC. It saved its life on the PC. People weren't playing it at all. This should not be still charged for. Do not buy it. Do not encourage it. Far Cry 4 Gold Edition. 25 bucks for the Gold Edition of the same game I told you about in the previous video. Shark Cash Card Bundle. Mm, not paying for it. No pay for digital currency. You get They keep handing out free millions to people and you can get it whenever you're playing the game. Don't pay for fucking currency. Homefront The Revolution Freedom. Down to $27.99. So little I know about that game. So little I care about that game. Um, it's $27.99 for the Re Homefront Revolution. Talk to me. Say in the comments whether or not it's worthwhile getting this game because I know but all about this. Mighty number no. 9 for $9.99. This game should have came out at $9.99. This game has a lot of issues. This game had a stupid marketing angle behind it. This game is a failure to maintain interest in the Mega Man style franchise. So let's move on. Again, money, 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 money. Uh, the Assassin's Creed Gold Edition for Syndicate. If you want the Gold Edition, the Season Pass content, everything that goes along with it at twenty nine thirty nine, I personally think it's not worth it. Uh, you would be better off, like I said, buy Black Flag, play Black Flag, enjoy Black Flag, maybe buy the rest in the series. Evolve Deluxe Digital Edition, fuck right off. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for fifty eight ninety nine, fuck right off. MLB The Show sixteen for twenty four eighty nine. Said to you before, if you're into MLB The Show. Buy MLB the show, but I personally prefer Super Mega Baseball. If you're buying this yearly franchise, you can, of course, get it for cheaper in a store on physical copy and buy the expansion bits and crap that you want to get otherwise. Like, that's that's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. We're done with the Black Friday sale. We're done. Out of it. Done. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. This has actually been another video on Passage Again. I wanted to just make sure I got that all finished and done, does it? Of course, we'll be attaching this one to the end of the last one, hopefully, so that they actually appear to be connected together. But, um, yeah. 
And if you enjoyed the previous video, you probably enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to give the thumbs up, likes, comments, questions, anything you have underneath and beside. And of course, if you liked it, hit the subscribe button up there so you can see the subscribes. And if you other ones down on this side, this will be the interesting stuff that we've been doing lately. You can check those out as well. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.